for the outside, the 16-foot-wide, 50-foot-deep shotgun-style home in the Hill neighborhood appears similar to most of the other bungalows on the block. In fact, with its small green patch of lawn, covered porch and the narrow facade, Sebastian Barbola home might easily serve as an iconic logo of the historic Italian community. However, visitors who step inside cannot be forgiven for backing up to double-check where they're standing. When the front door opens to reveal a living room, dining room and kitchen combination, the well-designed space appears more as a contemporary New York loft, and seems impossible to exist inside the footprint of the home. The airy illusion of a much larger home was created during a gut rehab when the original ceiling was removed and a cathedral ceiling created. Double wood ceiling beams that have supported and held the home in place since the late 1800s were exposed and stained dark brown, adding interest and emphasizing the width of the interior. Glass door fronts on the kitchen cabinets squeeze out the appearance of adding a few more inches to the room. An exposed loft over the kitchen at the rear of the home is visible from the front door, and a visitor's first thought is to question how this can possibly be a two-story home, which it is not. An eclectic mix of DE acute COR adds interest to the living space in the front of the home. The floor, stained dark to match the overhead beams, is the original wood subfloor discovered under five layers of linoleum and which was never intended to be used as a finished floor. Overhead lights hidden on top of the beams project light upward, accentuating the cathedral ceiling. Suspended industrial track lights perched on wires between the beams illuminate the kitchen below. A shiny steel framework that outlines the open-sided wall of the loft and thin steel cables that act as a see-through wall blend with the metal kitchen lighting just below, giving the space a contemporary feel. Those who see the home now cannot appreciate the renovation from the prior cramped interior. The kitchen, now in the center of the home, had been in the back of the house, which is now two small bedrooms. The front door opened into a narrow hall that led past a small bedroom that had been at the front of the house. With the hallway gone, the space is now the living room, which is entirely open to the kitchen. The remodel was done by the parents of Emily Hogg, the lady who lived here before, says Barbola. She is a friend, and when she said she was going to sell it, I purchased it before it went on the market. Her family jokingly referred to it as industrial cottage architecture. It was a term they invented, the hill neighborhood was perfect for Barbola. I lived in the central west end and was looking for some place a little quieter but still within walking distance to restaurants and bars. Plus, I am looking forward to playing bocce ball on the courts on the hill, he says. A bonus to owning the home is that it has a historical heritage significant to the hill. Similar to the neighborhood homes of Yogi Berra and Joe Garagiola, it has a bronze plaque embedded in the concrete walk in front that announces this was once the home of Frank P. Wee Wallace, who was inducted into the National Soccer Hall of Fame in 1976. Sebastian Barr Bolatage 38 Occupation Assistant Principal at St. Louis Language Immersion School Home D. Hill Neighborhood of St. Louis Family Can, France.